right, I've just got in from doing a show and uh, it's the middle of the night but the house is empty so I thought I'd do this now. Um, before I went to work this evening I um, stopped into Max Guitars on Rathbone Street, the old Ivor Morantz shop, and uh, bought myself this um, Eastman, is it the AR504? Um, I'll make sure it's the correct name in the description obviously. Um, yeah. I was just crappy camera audio for my voice, but I am recording the guitar in Logic, so you should be able to get, get it sound of its amplified sound. You won't get a sound of it acoustically, really, unless I dial in this. Um, yeah, so this is the first video I've done for a while. Um, I've just been very busy. Uh, and I think with the new year, I'm going to try and get onto it and uh, start <coughs> churning some more stuff out, whether it be gear stuff or general music slash guitar playing stuff. Um, so yeah, this is uh, pretty much, this is sort of a, like, like a carved carb top and then laminate sides and back. So it's, and it's about 15, it was it's one pound short of 1500 quid basically. So it's got round wounds on it. Um, I'm going to compare it to my Yamaha in a minute. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, just some sound demos of how it sounds. <laughs> So anyway, quick, we'll do a quick uh, comparison with the Yam now. So yeah, here we go, the, uh, the Yamaha, um, as uh, in fact, let's ask the question, why did I bother looking for a new arch top um, when I've already got one? Well, this guitar's great, but I think it's a bit more sounding and a bit more acoustic sounding as well, and maybe a bit brittle on the top two strings. Um, it's also an active circuit, even if you're just using a magnetic pickup. It's got a piezo in it. This is the Martin Taylor version from the 90s. Um, and uh, I find the pickup is actually very hot. You can hear that breaking up a bit more. In fact, on Logic, it's hitting the, hitting the ceiling somewhat. So, um, yeah. Let's play similar stuff. side by side now it's quite interesting <clears throat> in the shop I was playing the Eastman through a little Fender Princeton and I'm what I'm doing tonight is I'm playing these both through, through my Tech 21 um, sort of sans amp um, amp it's a little combo that's got the sans amp sort of circuit for, for its preamp so and what you're hearing is a de-eyed sound from the amp even though it's like on in the room now um, so yeah um, interesting comparison um, might report back once I've used the Eastman on a few gigs. I'm doing a New Year's Eve jazz gig uh, in a couple of days' time, and I'll be able to get, I'll give, it, give it a whirl in that context and see how it fares. Okay. Um, other than that, I'll leave it there. But um, yeah, I promise I'll be back with more stuff in the new year. Take care. Cheers.